you ever wondered how we got from the New Testament church of the Gospels and the epistles and the teaching of Paul and Peter and John and of course of Jesus to this, where we are today, to all these denominations, to this massive basilica behind me, St. Peter's? How do we get from what the New Testament describes as the church to where we are today? Roman Catholicism, Greek Orthodoxy, and all the Christian denominations. Well, that's what we're gonna study as we're going through the life and letters of Paul. Because Paul connects together the early church of the book of Acts with the epistles, with the local churches of the New Testament world. We're gonna study church history, how we got from the apostles in Christ to bishops and cardinals and basilicas and how we went from the simplicity of the church to the complexity that we see nowadays. And that's what's so important for all of us. Did you know it's very important for you to know where you came from in your beliefs and be able to defend what you believe from the scriptures? Uh, I always think of Acts chapter 4 when Peter was confronted at the gate beautiful and said, silver and gold have I not, but what I have I give you to where we are today where the church is so full of treasures and art and riches and maybe light on the gospel. When we think of the birth of the church, we always think of Matthew 16 and verse 13. And Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi and they said, who do men say that I am, the son of man am? And they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah the prophets. And he said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Now, think about what Jesus says next. And Jesus answered and said to them in verse 17 of Matthew 16, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. The basilica behind me is called the Basilica of St. Peter. And that's how we always think of the early church. We think of how did we go from St. Peter's confession and Jesus saying in verse 18, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. How did we get from the New Testament church that Jesus describes here and what we see in the book of Acts, Peter using those keys. He used them on Pentecost in Acts chapter three. He used them also with the Samaritans when he went up to the revival in Acts chapter eight. He uses them again in chapter 10 when he goes to the gospel going forth to the Gentiles. Peter was unfolding what Jesus said in Matthew 16, but how did we get to this? How did we get to a monarchical episcopate, as they call themselves? That's what we study in this course. What Jesus meant, that he would build the church, not Peter, and who the rock was, the confession Peter made of Jesus Christ, and what those keys were, and how Peter did use the offering Jesus made of the gospel to the Jews, to the Samaritans, and to the Gentiles. Well, that's what we're gonna study, and especially this week in the book of Romans and the book of Galatians, the foundation for the New Testament church from the scriptures and connecting the New Testament world and that early church with where we've gotten to today. The birth of all the denominations, the early divisions in the Roman Catholic Church, how Orthodoxy, the Greek Orthodox Church split off, and how all that connects really to doctrine. That's really what it's all about. Jesus said in Matthew 24 that the key thing all of us in the last days are to think about is understanding doctrine so we're not deceived. So this week, I hope you'll join us as we go through this course studying from Romans and Galatians, how we got from the New Testament world to St. Peter's and all the denominations we see around us today. John Barnett, teaching here this week in Rome. I hope you'll join us for our Life and Letters of Paul study course.